Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Dr. Hyena and today I am back with another video. Um, Alright, so I have a couple of announcements to make. Uh, you know, some of you guys watching this might already know these things. Uh, some of you guys are probably, probably the majority of you guys actually, are in the Wrath of Nature Discord series. You may have already seen this, but uh, I'm making this, you know, mostly for those who aren't. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get into it. So firstly, as many of you already know, uh, I have taken lead of a Roblox game by our map maker, uh, Sokolov. So his game is called Namibia Untouched. And, uh, you know, it, I thought it seemed like a very cool concept. It's, it's a lot like what Wild Sahel back in the day was going for, except uh, more so with Namibia uh, than the Sahel. Sahel is like more you know northern africa or like western i guess and then this is like much much further south um so sokolov you know he decided to take a bit of a break from roblox development and you know <laughs> i can understand why um so i decided you know to carry that sort of burden for him uh so when i do have time to work on that game and wrath of nature my time will be kind of like split between the two uh, but of course, you know, since I guess I am slightly biased towards Wrath of Nature since I've had that idea for much longer and, you know, that's what's really my game, uh, it'll be more so focused towards that, so I don't worry too much. Um, and the second thing, this is a big one for me, uh, kind of as an artist, because for this game, I want a bit of a different, different, different approach, um, of course, the game isn't meant to represent real life. It's in a fictional universe, you know, so you can expect some more stylized models and animations going forward. I want a unique aesthetic that I enjoy, again, as a visual artist, and not something that I would just like to see, you know, as a photographer, right, with, like, the photorealistic models and textures. Um, textures I might still photo source, to be honest, just because it's less, it's less time-consuming, but then I would... You know, I'd go in, like, GIMP or Photoshop or whatever and then, you know, stylize the textures a bit in terms of, like, the colors and such. Um, you know, just to, again, give it that more unique aesthetic, right? Like, don't get me wrong. I love looking at photorealistic models and textures. I think it's always very impressive. But it's so, so easy to just get one little thing wrong and then your whole model is, like, way off, right? And, you know, while I obviously do know how to make those sort of um, highly realistic, like, models and textures and animations, I just would rather not, you know, again, just, this is coming from my sort of standpoint as a visual artist. Um, as you guys know, I love drawing, I love painting, and while I do those things fairly realistically, I always have sort of my own spin on them, so to speak, so you can expect that with this game too, and I think, you know, a lot of people these days prefer that over photorealism, and I, I fully agree with it. I think, again, photorealism, it's awesome to look like, I mean, awesome to look at, it's very impressive, but at the end of the day, it's just not my thing. Uh, so yeah, there's that, I think that's pretty exciting, and... Oh boy, here's the elephant in the room, number three. <laughs> Alright, so after some thought, I believe that it is best to go about this by making both a Roblox and Steam version of the game. I know, I've gone back on that several times, but hear me out, okay? So, I was kind of split on it because, you know, the game's theme doesn't really fit in with, like, Roblox's, you know, current games. But then I kind of realized, hey, that, you know, that kind of helps it even more, right? Like, you know, you want your game to stand out, and that it does. So, I think, you know, introducing this kind of sort of adventure, survival story, drama, um, did I say drama? I mean, well, I guess it is kind of a drama, yeah. Um, but that kind of genre, <laughs> um, to Roblox, I think that would be fascinating. Um, I think people really like that stuff. I know a lot of, you know, Steam games get really good reviews, uh, and, you know, even even back in the day, like, Minecraft Story Mode and all that, like, 
everyone loves story mode games from my understanding and you know maybe not everyone like the current community that i'm kind of uh that i kind of have right now sure they're more into animal survival but i think this is still going to be a fun experience nonetheless um and of course i'm gonna say that the roblox version will likely be worked on first uh and the reason for that it's actually i would say quite interesting so uh you know i was kind of just looking back at some of my older videos and one that I came across was, uh, you know, what happened to Barry on Blocks. And I saw a comment from someone that said they were going to, like, put up a bit of a memorial for Barry in their game. And I decided, you know, Barry is a, he's a big reason as to why I've got, you know, so many, um, so many subscribers, so much support over the years, especially back in 2020. That's when my channel, like, really started to spike. And sure, you could argue, like, most of that was from, you know, Roblox Testing A, but I think... Actually, I think the majority of it was from Wild to Hell and all the promotion he did for it on his channel, which I'll always be grateful for. Um, and, you know, I think, I think it is the right thing to do to kind of carry his legacy in that way. Uh, you know, he always encouraged me to, you know, be bold and you know, make my own game on Roblox, like, he, he was never negative about it, he was always very, very supportive of that, and, you know, it just breaks my heart that he's been gone for so long, and, yeah, I hope he's not actually, you know, dead, but at this point, regardless of what the case is, again, I think the right thing to do is just uh, kind of do a little thing to carry his legacy in that way and you know do what he always wanted me to do, to do which was um or what he always supported which was making you know an, an enjoyable game on roblox um and yeah i'll probably have a little memorial for him as well um maybe like like in the credits sort of like you know this this was uh you know, in memory of Barry on Blocks, you know, something like that, so, yeah, um, so that's a big part of why I'm also wanting to do a Roblox version of the game, um, I think, yeah, again, I just think that's really important for me to do, uh, Barry was an awesome guy, um, and I think it would be pretty selfish and rude of me to, not honor his legacy after everything he's done for me so yeah I, i'm <laughs> sorry i got a little emotional there but you know that's that's just how it is and you know i think that's actually a good thing um so moving on to sort of a fourth announcement i did a poll on my discord and basically i asked everyone so out of curiosity uh how would you guys like to see a survival mode for wrath of nature you wouldn't play as the animals, I've made that very, very clear already. Um, but you would be playing as a human in an open world. Of course, this would come after the story mode is made. You know, I want to take things one step at a time, and, you know, story mode is a huge step for me, right? I think that's something I'm very passionate about. Um, but all of you guys voted with the check mark, which means basically, yes, you'd like to see both. And... You know, I'm very excited about that. I would love to, you know, develop um, a survival version of the game too. I think that would be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun for you guys. So, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. I mean, I know at least some of you are, at least 26 of you who voted, so yeah. All right, I think that's awesome. Um, I guess that's going to be about it for this video, so you know the drill. If you liked, leave a like. Uh, if you're new around here, subscribe. Uh, I know my upload schedule is kind of all over the place, but uh, for 2023, my kind of goal is to make it much more consistent. Like, I'm hoping for at least four uploads a month. Uh, I have some non-Roblox stuff planned too. Uh, like, I actually, I actually want to kind of get back into Planet Zoo. Uh, I know I had some pretty negative things to say about that game and 
yeah, to be honest, some of them are still there. Uh, but I have kind of changed my attitude towards the game. I think, yeah, regardless of its issues, it's still a very interesting experience nonetheless. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Uh, I have quite a bit planned for that. Uh, Minecraft mod, obviously, There's there's been a lot of development for that, actually. And... Yeah, I'm gonna make a video on that real soon. It's it's looking really good, guys. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Again, like, subscribe, share with a friend, because you know I notice a lot of my um, what's it? A lot of you guys that comment on my videos uh, aren't really on my Discord. So you know, so so people might not know about this, right? They they might not know what happened to you know, wild to hell back in the day, right? Like, I still get people DMing me on Discord all the time, like, hey, what happened to wild to hell? Uh, and, you know, they're not even aware of Wrath of Nature at this point. Um, so, yeah, sharing this information is definitely going to be helpful for the community in the long run. So, please do that. That would mean a lot to me. Alright, I think that's going to be it for today. So, yeah. Uh, Till the next video, take care, peace... Oh my god. Take care, peace out, and goodbye.